Because without faith it's impossible to please Amen. Because he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Yes. I believe that God is. Yes. I'm going to pray, and I want the church to pray, and I want the elders to pray. And Brother Glenn, we're going to pray right now. Right. Standing right here with you, the Father. And I know your heart is broken, but God can mend your heart. God can take care of that one. God can deliver Edwin. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe it right now. In the name of Jesus. I believe it. God, I believe. I lay hands. The Bible says, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. The Lord, this man, this man is standing in proxy for his offspring, his flesh and blood, his son, and I lay hands on this father in the name of Jesus. Stay the hand upon it. In the name of Jesus, deliver him from cancer. Deliver him now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I believe I believe it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I believe the power and presence of the Holy Ghost. I believe in the Lord. Amen. He's the healer. He's the healer. Yes. He's the savior. Yes. Break your alabaster box. Praise God. Praise Every one of you, quit shutting up everything you have. Change your route. Change your direction. Because Christ wants to be the head of your life. The Lord of your life. He is getting ready to bring the most powerful move of God in the earth ever known to man. You know why? You know why? Because I could I could spend hours in the scriptures. If I had been teaching the church today, I would have. I'm just ministering. I'm not teaching. But we are coming together. I mean, heard and know for a fact they have located the asteroid that is going to leave the heavens at a given time and will strike the earth. They pinpoint this tr uh, track. They know that it's speeding through the universe. Did you get that this last week in the news, any of you? They know there's going to be a change. They know that the earth, and this one commentator said, possibly the earth will be so shaken so it may be out of its course until God would write it and bring it back in this collision. Did you know that's no news really? Because if you just pick open the book of Revelations and read the eighth chapter of Revelation the ninth, it tells you this. The earth is not going to remain the same because God is going to change all the orbit, all the course. But you know, the Lord led you here. The Lord put his hand upon you. The Lord wants you to take your alabaster box and break it open. And he wants the church to assume a brand new stance, a brand new mind, a brand new direction. I'll, I'll talk more on that. I just want to leave that where it is right there. But we must, we have no alternative make changes 
in our worship, in our attitude, in our preaching, in our faith, in our direction. That church cannot be the little church sitting by the roadside with no sound or no life or no spirit or no miracles or no direction coming from it. Spending most of his energy on straightening each other out. Amen. The church must move from that, where we spend most of our energy correcting each other. And it must again break our boxes open and let people see he's the living Christ for the dying world. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord. Amen. The church must move out of the mothball state. It must move out of the reservoir where it has been and say to the world, we are alive and well because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Is he your healer? Is he your savior? Is he your baptizer? Is he your keeper? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Did you have a song? I've got a song. Did you have a song? I want you to sing that old song of mine. Can you sing it with me. I'd rather have Jesus than anything. The 